Maya Wiley, who is Catherine Garcia, who is Maya Wiley, who is Catherine Garcia, who is Eric Adams. I will get down to mostly Maya Wiley, break down some of her uh, platform, and just kind of give you an overview with Eric Adams and Catherine Garcia. First, I want to tell you about the numbers, okay? Eric Adams is winning. Maya Wiley is in second place, and Catherine Garcia are in third place. Uh, you have Maya Wiley, which is about 9% down, 31% to 22% to 20%. So Maya Wiley and Catherine Garcia are only about one or two percentage points away, but Eric Adams seems to have broken away a little bit from the pack by nine percentage points. It's 32% actually. So he's gotten 253,234, and then 177,722 is what Miley, uh, Maya Wiley has gotten. And so that's a difference of what? 23 plus 53, it's about 76,000 votes. So that means Maya Wiley needs to make up 76,000 votes. Now, 97% has reported. 97% has reported that's about 800,000 votes. That means there's still 3% that's still out. And then you got the absentee ballots, absentee ballots that you still need to count, and then which will be about you know 50 to 100,000. And then you'll have uh, the tabulation of the rate choice votes the tabulation of the ranked choice votes, which will be more than 200,000 votes. So more than 200,000 votes will be redistributed. We still got to count 70, uh, 50 to 100,000, you know, FT votes, and then whatever, 3% for tonight. So for right now, the vote total is 253 to 234 to 177, 722 to 155, 812. It's really anybody's game. I think it's even Diane Morales could somehow pull it out. Uh, you know, if she just got all the absentee votes or something. But w between those three, even though Catherine Garcia is in third place, that she's only down, you know, in terms of percentage points, 12%, right? So she needs 100,000 votes versus Maya Wiley, 75,000 votes. But the redistribution of the ranked choice votes, that's 200,000 votes right there. The absentee votes are 70,000, and then the 3% left. And so what is that? That's about, you know, over 250,000 votes that are still up for grabs. So... 75,000 is the lead. Eric Adams has beaten Maya Wiley by 75,000, but there's still 250,000 votes that haven't been redistributed or counted with the absentee. So even though Eric Adams is winning by 75,000, there's still 250,000 plus votes to count, including the ranked choice tabulation, which will be the exciting part because we'll see if, you know, it'll probably go 10 rounds or so. We'll start to see if Catherine Garcia starts closing in on Eric Adams or if Maya Wiley gets closer or if Eric Adams just takes this thing all the way, you know, to the moon. So that'll be fun and, and exciting. So there is no winner tonight. There is no winner tonight. Maya Wiley, Catherine Garcia, and Eric Adams can all become New York mayor. It is possible, very possible, probable. It's easily, it's not long shot. This is very, um, it's very close. It's very, Eric Adams, most people would assume to be winning since he won the plurality thing. If I was him, I would say, you know, I won the plurality. I won the first choice. But he, you know, technically doesn't win until they count the ranked choice voting, which is when they got to get all the votes. So it might take a week or two. They're telling us it's going to take a week or two to count. You know, they have to get all the votes, all the absentee ballots, and then they can. They got seven days to cure those ballots. So that could take you know a week or two or so. And then once you get all those ballots, then you start doing the ranked choice voting thing, where you get rid of the last place finisher, redistribute their votes, uh, redistribute their votes, and then repeat. Last place finisher, knock them out, get them, redistribute the votes, and then repeat, repeat, until eventually you have a majority victor. So, Eric Adams, you know, he's won the plurality, but this is ranked choice voting, so we got to go through the ranked choice, you know, process. He's got a nice, comfortable lead, but it's not an insurmountable lead, so that's why Catherine Garcia, Maya Wally, and Eric Adams are winning. They're winning the race. There is not a winner yet. So, who are these people? Let's, I'll uh, start with Eric Adams and then go to my while and end off with Catherine Garcia. Eric Adams, he wants to ban processed meat. He's a vegan. He wants everybody else to be a vegan, too. I mean, that's the uh, kind of, Hitler, Hitler is a vegan, right? So, Eric Adams is a vegan. Hitler is a vegan. No for housing for the homeless. 
So is there going to be housing for the, there's only 50,000 housing, there's only 50,000 uh, homeless, so it would only take 50,000, you know, tiny homes. And then what's uh, Paperboy? He had already started it, and then Catherine Garcia actually promised it. So even though Eric Adams and Catherine Garcia are both right-wing conservatives, uh, the uh, Eric Adams is more conservative because he's not even talking about homeless. Housing for the homeless? Hell no, he's a cop and he's, you know, therefore he's a fascist. He's got, he's basically mostly fascist. He doesn't say many, uh, he doesn't talk about police reform that much. Neither does Catherine Garcia. Maya Wiley, she never says defund the police, but she has a defund the police plan where she takes $1 billion away from the $10 billion budget of the police department and puts it towards some other shit. So Eric Adams, Eric Adams, don't expect him to build any new schools or any hospitals. Don't expect him to build any housing for the homeless. Don't expect any universal health care. He just wants to teach healthy habits. That's how universal health care for New York City. No, Eric Adams is just going to teach healthy habits. That's going to be the health care that you guys get in New York City. He's also going to do an expanded local tax credit for low-income families. It's supposed to put money in people's pockets. He's going to appoint an efficiency czar. Yang had the same idea, uh, same idea, so Andrew Yang and Eric Adams both had an efficiency czar. Eric Adams is the cop in this race. He's the cop. He's the fascist. He's all about search and seizure. He's about being against the Fourth Amendment. He's all about the war on drugs. He's all about searching you for guns or drugs. He's a fucking narc. He's a fucking narc, and marijuana is legal in New York State. I don't even know if he's going to make it legal for New York City. He's actually going to reevaluate substance abuse clinic locations. So, what, put them in different spots, or is he talking about closing? This is, you know, what, the, so substance abuse, they don't have a place to go. He's going to shut those places down, get rid of them. That sounds, that would be terrible if he's just going to get rid of them. If he just puts them in, you know, spots where they can be used um, more often, that's okay. He's also a landlord. He had once said something about black wealth is being destroyed because by destroying landlords, you're destroying black wealth. But is he going to protect the tenants? And when I think about, I mean, I guess there's, you know, black, white, and brown. Everybody probably owns some property, property but there's poor people, and there's a lot of, so just, he's a landlord. I don't know if he'll protect the tenants. He's a landlord, and he's going to protect the landlord's shit. So what about the tenants? Worried about the black wealth for the, you know, landlords, but the tenants are just giving all their wealth away to the landlords. So he's also talking about a tax-free Tuesday. So that might be the only decent idea that I like. A tax-free Tuesdays, right? Just no sales tax, just tax-free Tuesdays. Heck yeah, tax-free Tuesdays. So Maya Wiley, now she has, um, like I said, her defund the police plan is take $1 billion away from the $10 uh, billion police budget and, you know, give it to somebody else. I'm not for sure who. But Maya Wiley, she used to be the chairwoman of the uh, Civilian Complaint Review Board, the CCRB. She was a chairwoman for the CCRB for a year or two. Well, this means she questions the cops. She's been on the side of the people against the cops for quite some time. She's a civil rights lawyer. So when it comes to police reform, when it comes to keeping the de Blasio narrative but to improve upon it, Maya Wiley is your woman. She's the progressive of these three candidates also. Maya Wiley is for a $5,000 a year UBI for caregivers, for somebody who's taking care of somebody else. She wants them to get $5,000 UBI, which is better than both Paperboy and Andrew Yang's UBI. I mean, the Paperboy didn't get in there, so... Uh, he, his is more money, but uh, not as thought out. This one seems to be more thought out. $5,000 a year. That's, Andrew Yang was only going to give $2,000 out. Maya Wiley is going uh, to legalize weed and Narcan. She said that. Narcan, that's, um, apparently it's uh, popular already. So legalize marijuana, legalize Narcan. We know for sure New York City is going to legalize marijuana under Maya Wiley. Maya Wiley is for a lot of major capital investments. She's also small business support. She also wants to promote the arts, and she wants to build housing for the homeless. She also wants to get a new deal czar with a big fat jobs program, and this is where it gets a little bulky and detailed oriented. I'm just going to read it. The city would fund major infrastructure and development projects overseen by a New Deal czar within the mayor's office with the goal of creating 100,000 new jobs and improving benefits like health care, hazard pay, and gig protection. 30,000 of those jobs would come directly from development projects, and the remaining 70,000 would come from indirect roles in child and home health care and manufacturing, $100 million in regulatory relief, and $30 million in emergency grants for the most devastated areas and industries, both funded by federal stimulus dollars. 
It would be led by a small business, a chief small business officer at City Hall. She wants to put $7 million into promoting worker cooperatives and using the Federal Reserve's municipal liquidity facility to pr purchase distressed small and mid-sized businesses, loans for street vendors, and another $100 million fund for grants to artists and performers with the council to oversee its equitable uh, equitable distribution towards universal health care. So this is a kind of universal health care. She has uh, identified that you had a quarter million, 246,000 people in New York City who have no health insurance, and they're not eligible for Medicaid, Affordable Care Act, and other programs, and they're also immigrants. There's some immigrants. So there's 246,000 people who have no health insurance. So basically, you know, 8, 8, 8 million... I think eight million's been covered. I'll come back with the rest of this.